Well, we're into the first barbell of the session. It's great to be back down at the brewery in Coalport. If you saw my video from this section last year, I meant to come back later in the season to fish the downstream beach peg, which is where I'm at today. But the conditions over the second half of last season were just terrible. So, first attempt to get back on here this season. Nice early start this morning. I managed to get on the peg. Rods have been out about 10 minutes. The downstream rod has absolutely caved over. So first barbel on. It's putting up a nice fight here down the inside margin. It's quite dark under the canopy of these trees this morning. It's about half five, quarter to six in the morning. Got here for first light. Barbel's coming in nicely now. It's nothing huge, but it's great to be off the mark. Provided we get it in the net, of course, that is. Let's concentrate for a second, just to get this one in. And I'll show you the approach, how I'm going about this today. And hopefully we'll get ourselves a few barbel over the course of the session. Well, here's that first bite on the downstream rod. Nothing huge, probably about a three, three and a half pound barbel, something like that, but very, very welcome to get the session off to a great start. I'm gonna get this dude back in the edge just to give him a little bit of extra time before I release him back into the flow. Get that rod back out on the spot. Just wanna keep the bait trickling in nice and quickly over the first part of the session, just to uh, keep the fish active, keep them feeding, and hopefully that'll set us up well for one or two more fish over the course of the session. It's one of the best day ticket sections on the seven. This is, in my opinion, five quid to fish some of the best water through Coalport. It's an absolute bargain. The brewery in itself is still closed for renovations and it also changed hands last year, but the process for buying your day ticket is still the same as what I showed you in my previous video. If you've not seen that, I'll put a link in the description. There is a venue guide in that video. So that shows you how to buy your day ticket, how to get fishing, shows you a few pegs as well. So if you've not seen that, just click through on the link in the description and check that one out. Well, look at that for a view. Seven looking absolutely gorgeous this morning. Still a fair bit of colour in the water. We had a lot of rain over the opening weekend. So that's bumped the level up by about a foot. You can just see on that rock on the far margin there where the water line was. So it has dropped off again now, but uh, the colour's not dropped out of the water just yet. Nice chocolatey brown, got a tinge of green to it. It's nowhere near as clear as it normally is around the middle of June at the start of the season. But hopefully great conditions for a few bites today. Got both of the rods back out, just targeting about a third of the way across. It's gonna keep a steady fire bait going in just to draw a few fish in. Recast every five or 10 minutes at the start of the session, just to get a line of bait out there on the line that I'm targeting. Hopefully that'll set the session up well. And allow us to pick up a few bites over the course of the next few hours. So opening day of the season, I went to the Danery and um, I got to the bank at first light, just as unfortunately it was smashing it down with rain. So I've got a right soak in there. I did have a couple of small barbel quite quickly on that session uh, at the top end of the danery, uh, just two, three pound, nothing huge. But the swim went very, very quiet. 
after that and uh, had nothing else for the next three or four hours. Got another bike here on the downstream rod. Well, downstream rod is away again. Just filming a nice little clip to the camera there to get interrupted on. Always happy to be interrupted. This fish is making its way into the centre of the river here. Definitely feels like a barbell. Nothing huge though, probably feels a bit similar in size to the first one at first impressions. But there's been plenty of time when I've judged the size of a barbell wrong. Well, it's great to be back in amongst the bites. Just loosen the drag off a little bit. A lot of people ask me about playing barbel on back winds or using the clutch. I tend to prefer using the clutch myself. A lot of people I know like to use the back winds because of uh, potential stretch in the line. I can't say I notice that my lines get too damaged by using the clutch, to be honest, so it's my preference. Don't think there's any right or wrong way either way, to be honest, but... Got my one and three quarter pound test curve barbell rods that I use on the seven, back in action again this season. If you've seen any of my videos in the past, no setup changes this year for the seven. Same rod and reel combo. I respooled with 12 pound barbell line about a week before the season. So I've got fresh line on. I'll typically change it maybe once or twice during the season. Just depends how much fishing I do. So this barbell is just making its way across from the center of the river. Just go nice and steady with it. Yeah, there we go. Tad bigger than the first one by the look of it. Brilliant, that'll do very nicely. Come on. there we go second fish of the session definitely a lot bigger i've just dropped it on the scales quickly eight pound two long and lean seven barbel bit of damage to the tail but that's a cracking fish taking on the downstream rod 14 mil cko pellet and vortex what a cracking cracking barbel that is So second barbel's ready to go. Let's drop it over the edge of the net cord. There we go. Back out into the seven. So here's a quick look at my ground bait mix for this session. So I'm using the hemp halibut and betaine multi-purpose mix from Vortex. And you'll notice the difference in between the colour of what's in the packet there and what I've got in my bowl. So I've got a nice thick mix there and I've got that infused with Robin Red flavoured hemp, which I'll also get from Vortex. I've mixed that up nice and thick just to make sure it gets down to the bottom and is around my hook bait. There's not that much extra water on the seven, but there is a little bit. So I just want to make sure it gets right to the bottom. It's in my swim. It's going to make a difference pulling in a few fish for me. Well, nice so obvious start to the session. Couple of quick bites on the downstream rod. The amount of times that I get a bite when I'm trying to record a clip on camera, as you saw there, rod tip straight over just sort of this area here it's probably not even a third of the way across there the sun's starting to come through the trees there so apologies if you can see any glare on the camera there but uh, yeah rod back out on the spot so that ground bait mix of the multi-purpose halibut hemp based ground bait mix from vortex with the robin red infused hemp going through it that's going out in the feeder some six mil CKO feed pellets in the mix as well. 14 mil CKO pellet on the hook, doing the damage. I think it's about 10 past quarter past six now. 
We've only got about three hours for this session this morning. So uh, a lot of my sessions, as you probably gathered, are short and sharp. Gases are steaming up as well. So uh, we'll sort those out in a minute. But I'm going to enjoy the time I've got on the bank this morning. Keep the cast going in nice and regularly just to keep the swim active, fed. Try and keep those bites coming. And hopefully we'll see one or two more yet. Well, this really is an absolutely gorgeous spot. Got these overhanging trees, casting a shadow on the river. It's a great peg to fish this. You've got loads of room. Lovely flow on the river. If you like your day ticket fishing, the brewery in definitely needs to be on your bucket list. You can night fish this as well. Plenty of room up here for bivvies. Steps down to the water's edge as well. Fabulous place to wet a line. Five pound for a day ticket. What is not to like about that? I also put this chili hemp natural oil in my mix as well. A lot of people don't put liquids in their ground bait mixes, but it's just all about stacking up the 1% for me. Bob will love hemp. It's one of those flavors that they tend to gravitate towards hemp and garlic they just seem to be fascinated by it so that's in my mix as well nice and peaceful by the seven this morning got the bird song in the background it's a nice mild summer's day there's a few cars going across the track on the far margin that's the rally section that's the section where des fishes does his guiding bit further downstream in that direction. So we'll give it a few more minutes and we'll get the rods back in. Just keep the recast going. That's my style on seven. Start of the session. Keep the feed going in. Little and often. I'm not concerned that the feeder going into the water is going to create any disturbance. If anything, the barbel are inquisitive and it pulls them in towards where you're feeding. Keep that bait going in. Hopefully, there'll be a couple more bites to come yet. Just doing a rechuck on the upstream rod. So whilst we're doing that, let's take the opportunity to show you what the setup is today. So this is a fairly standard approach, which you've probably seen in my previous videos if you've seen any of those. So I use a running rig. I use the Corum bolt and run kit to build this up. All the components that you need are in that kit there. My hook length. Let's just widen the shot. I'd say it's about three foot long, just so you can see it there. Uh, it's 10 pound fluorocarbon. I've got a little PVA mesh bag there of feed pellets, 14 mil CKO pellet there, and a size eight wide gape hook. It's really standard stuff. It does me stacks of bites on the seven, and this will be my approach pretty much throughout most of the summer. As soon as the level starts becoming a lot more volatile in the early autumn, then I start changing approach then, but this is the staple of my barbel fishing on the seven, the approach that I'll use pretty much in all situations, probably between about now and probably late September, October time. Whoa, just tying up a rig there. Fish on, downstream rod again. Just did the bait runner cooking then and uh, just trying the hair on a new rig. Happy to be interrupted of course.
Yes, bauble in the net. Go on. Just weighed this bauble. It's not quite as big as what I thought it was. It's still not a bad fish for this stretch. A couple of ounces under eight pound. Beautiful long seven torpedo. Gorgeous colours. Hardly a mark on that one. What a cracker that is. If you're looking for a day ticket venue on the middle seven, then the brewery in section at Coalport takes some beating in my opinion. Absolutely gorgeous scenery with the river cutting through the gorge. It's just a terrific place to come and spend some time on the bank. As an absolute bonus as well, the river's stuffed full of barbel here as well. So the fish in the sport is absolutely brilliant. Thanks very much for watching this video. I've got a few other day ticket venues up my sleeve that I'll show you over the course of the summer. Please subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed what you've seen. Thanks very much for watching everyone and I'll see you all again soon.